Alrighty, welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for clicking on today's video. Today we are going to be talking about this podcast that Nick Avocado, Avocado has actually just uploaded on one of his second channels. Uh, it says addressing my weight loss and there's quite a few really interesting things that he actually talks about in that podcast. But before we get into that, I do want to say I have recently released the second episode of my podcast with my friend Fraser or I Nabber here on YouTube. And in this podcast, we talk about our favorite uh, co-host, Amberlynn Reed and a lot of other stuff. So if you are someone that enjoys podcasts and you want to see uh, me talking about Amberlynn Reed and all of the stuff that's been going on recently with someone that's also interested in that kind of stuff, please go check it out. It's called Over the Pond. We have two episodes out now. The response has been really, really good. So I really appreciate it. But make sure you check that out. But without further ado, let's get into this. As I said, we are going to be talking about this podcast. And in this podcast, he actually has his friend um, that he does that he does the podcast with as well. Um, we're not going to be going over this entire thing because it's like a, about an hour long and a lot of it's just kind of stuff that's not super important that I feel like is, is really necessary. So um, actually Rachel ended up clipping all, all of the really important stuff into this little uh, supercut video. And so we'll just go over this video. This is the stuff that I feel and she felt was were actually important to the, you know, to what we would want to talk about. Uh, so without further ado, let's get into it. <clears throat> Hello, everybody of the internet who wanted me to have a podcast and see me skinny. I decided to do it with one of my best friends ever, Carly Steele, who's sitting right in front of me. Um, so I'm at this interesting stage where clearly I'm skinny. People want to hear from me as a skinny person. <laughs> I was talking to a really good friend of mine back from school, and yeah. she was like, so it's, it's actually interesting, right? Because he says, they want to hear from me as a skinny person. And I think that that's true. And I, again, Nick is a smart person and I think he knows this, but one thing that I, that I noticed and a lot of the top comments in the video were, is that he didn't, he still hasn't really talked about how he lost the weight. And I feel like that's what a lot of people are really interested in. And I, I honestly am not sure if he'll ever go into detail. I don't know what he did. I don't know if what he did was healthy. I, I it's really impossible to say without knowing, right? I don't know if, if, if he used a, a GLP-1 medication, I don't think he got a surgery, but obviously that is possible. Um, but he doesn't really go into detail on like how he lost the weight, which I think is the most obvious question to answer and the most obvious question that I would have if I were to ever interview Nick or something, right? Like, how did you do it? What was the protocol? How did you go about this insane, you know, secretly losing all of this weight? And like, that is such an interesting thing. And it just, sadly, it doesn't get brought up, which, you know, spoilers, I'm sorry if I <laughs> ruined the video for you, but yeah. Like, how did you like pull off what you did where people thought you were like mentally crazy and just mm -hmm. like, I thought I would be like, it's just water weight, mm -hmm. which, I thought people knew I was joking, but people, people like that. You are delusional. You need to count calories. You need more protein. You need. A, you have a low IQ. Did did did. I'm like. You have a low <clears> IQ, or they have. Well, low now it's very clearly they peasants. do. But they're like, how did you get away with it? And I'm like, here's a prime example. It's like people, mm -hmm. just over their head. It, and I, I don't even try to be mean, but no, it's just no, like, I know. It's over their heads. I know. I, I thought it was very obvious that it was an act, but maybe not. <laughs> So like, I mean, I agree with that, but I don't, I don't see it as like, if you didn't see that you're like stupid or you're dumb or there's something wrong with you. Right. Like, because I, I would say that Nick fully committed to this act. Right. And then there was a lot of stuff that, that ended up happening that, you know, there are still questions of people being like, you know, as far as like the OF stuff that he put up on these sites that are very personal and pretty interesting photos you know it's like to do that for an act i think most people are like no one would ever go to that extent to post as just like oh i'm putting on a character so like i understand people genuinely believing like no this is like maybe there's like little points and parts that are over exaggerated but people that thought like i think for the most part this is relatively true right i can understand that again i always felt like it was an act but i can understand why someone maybe didn't think that well, you knew me too, but Well, yeah, still. and I have, like, common sense. Yeah, common sense. <laughs> I'm not being mean either. I mean, like, okay. I'm being genuine. <clears throat> and like I got, obviously, a lot of hate over the years. Yeah. Oh, you shouldn't be doing this. Don't make fun of this. Oh, poor Orlin, you threw a noodle at him. Okay, that's what I want to bring up. People would be like, oh, he's mimicking DV. Oh. Or he's, it's triggered. I'm, I'm like, okay, <clears throat> two grown men. Yeah. Grown 30-year-old men. Yep. Men. <laughs> yep. 
And are they grabbing hammers and knives? No. Cake. <laughs> Frosted blueberry pumpkin cake with sprinkles. <laughs> with literally Disney ice princes drawn all over it. <laughs> grabbing a cake. A soft, A soft cake. cake. And he didn't even, he didn't hit like lunge back. Like no. whip it up no. to get as, like, he was just a boop. Which people do that on their wedding day. So is that DV? People do that on the wedding day. They're like, they shove cake in their face. Like, the difference is he was calling me ugly, but some know, brides but... probably get ugly, called ugly. So, and that's, that's the main thing. I think like <clears throat> where, and I think they bring it up a little bit, but it's not that the actual act of what was happening, right? Like throwing lettuce at someone or throwing cake at someone is, you know, DV. Uh, I, maybe I'll put it on screen if you don't know what that is, but it's more the, the things that were being said and the fact that if that wasn't true, which clearly it wasn't, which I'm glad, right? It's, it feels like if, if you're someone that's gone through that, it feels like that experience is just being made fun of for a video, right? Just to kind of be silly and not really take it seriously, right? And that, that was like the criticism. I remember when I talked about it, it was like, I didn't think it was real, but I understand people that had a problem with people saying like that, that, that being an act and just acting like that. Right. So I understand people's, you know, frustration with that. Me too. That's sad. <laughs> <laughs> that was horrible. I only say that because I just saw a TikTok and I don't think that was staged because it was like home video style. It was like old footage. Yeah. Someone re-uploaded to TikTok. Okay. You know what has like that sepia film? It's mm -hmm. like kind of orange. Yeah. Like it, it looks, looks vintage. Like 1990. Yeah. <clears throat> Older people watching this and how dare you say 1990s vintage, but you get the point. <laughs> yeah. Um. Literally. And he was just like, oh, wash off the washed off the makeup but it wasn't helping much today anyway <laughs> i mean yeah that's pretty messed up to say on your wedding day for sure the pride that's so sad the chick cake running down her face <laughs> people think i mean but shoot i mean that was not for like youtube clicks that right. was like their wedding day right <clears throat> but anyways back to what i was trying to say i'm like you really think if this was nick's in trouble orleans in trouble ooh, they're not getting along this is so violent a cake or salad he took ro romaine hearts, yeah. ripped it up, yeah. shredded, and said, "You're too fat. You're too fat. That is You're hilarious. so fat." I think it's I think I think it's people that might get called fat, and then yeah. maybe or they are fat and they yeah, don't like that they're fat. Something. They're just getting like, oh, I feel like yeah. it was my ex used to call me fat. Now I'm all upset. Yeah, that's exa exactly, and that's like, that's the point. And I I've, I've always said this. I think Nick is a smart person, so I don't I don't think he's surprised that people felt this way and i i'm it's hard to say like who knows what's real right like because he might be kind of putting an act on here acting like oh i'm i can't believe that people were surprised by that but from what i've seen i feel like he's a relatively smart individual and so i i don't think that it is that i would be surprised if he genuinely was surprised that people were upset by that you know and they had they had feelings about it right and that they were like hey man i've i've had very similar situations obviously maybe a little bit more intense but this really reminded me of that maybe that's not the coolest thing to do and so again i understand people's criticism maybe okay but people thought like we were really going at it or we had a bad marriage or like they need to get away with someone needs to call the police and i would act out like i'm calling the police the police the police <laughs> calling the police and nancy and you were my attorney nancy yeah i uh, personally i felt <laughs> like um if that was the extent of your arguments i thought it was pretty funny if that was real if it was real right if that, you really thought that was real yeah like i don't i mean i think i think we trolled a lot with the whole like the grinder apps and like the cheating and oh like well and it's like it's like you, you uh, this is a perfect analogy you you want your cake and eat it too right because clearly you for this to work and for people to care they have to to an extent believe that there's truth to this right so like if because i at least i feel like if people knew it was fake completely the amount of interest is going to be so much more down like not many people are going to care because it's like it's just a fake person it's all fake it's not real why like the drama has left right because it's like now i know that this is fake so i don't have like oh my god i can't believe that happened it's like oh i mean someone wrote that to happen okay that's what happened but it's very different especially on youtube because people have that expectation a lot of times that it's you know it's a genuine thing that is happening you know there are shows on youtube but not to the level that they would be on tv right and so again i think it's like you want your cake and eat it too you want people to believe that because that's going to mean more people are going to watch it and if people just completely don't believe any of it 
they're probably not going to watch. Yeah. He's yeah, he made yeah. up something like Enrique and Hernando and what well, he's into Latinos. I'm like, come up with yeah. a bunch of Latinos. I didn't even tell him, he just did it. Yeah. Um yeah, but it's not even it's still, it's just <sighs> You guys are happily married. We are, but it's also like, how do you be like, this is DV, um, this is horrible. That's that's interesting too, because I don't think, I mean, unless I missed it, but I don't think we've seen Orlin in a video since this has all happened. Uh, and so I think that that's interesting, because even in the comments, people were saying like, where's Orlin at, right? Because we haven't seen him, I don't think. No, that's it's, a little excessive, it, I think, but. It is, <laughs> it just is. <laughs> and, and and be like, oh, they were acting the whole time. So that's like, half the movies i would say like do you get do you just walk out of the movie theater because you're so upset someone acted out some t even disney they're violent they're like throwing swords that is so true i mean i i feel like i'm you know saying the same thing over and over again but obviously like a lot of people felt like there was a good amount of truth to that right so that's why i think that 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 portrayal or that example it just doesn't really work because yeah on a movie everyone knows going in the expectation is that this is a movie this is not real it was never said in the youtube video that this is not real this is fake and especially on youtube the medium is most people go into it assuming this is a real interaction that is happening that's just how the platform is right and so if it's not real it's and you would, are surprised that people think it's real, maybe put a disclaimer that says this is not real. But of course that's not gonna happen because people are gonna see that, like, oh, well, I don't wanna watch this, right? Because that's how it is on YouTube. People expect realness. Swords and... Yeah, you're there for their entertainment too. Yeah, I don't do think people... storm out of the theater. Like I saw a violent act, I'm triggered. I, I I'm on a refund. <laughs> I'm mad. <laughs> I mean, some people do that. <laughs> I, I remember when I was growing up, I was uh, raised in a pretty, conservative household and there was definitely times when we had to get up and leave the movie theater because things were happening that were not expected so that certainly happens <laughs> Jin, imagine you go to the front desk but like, they I don't but most people don't yeah, they're just I know. like yeah okay they're acting mm -hmm. they're acting out roles that i don't want to see or is not not necessarily the best right. but they're not upset by it but so why is it okay for actors on the movie screens but it's bad for it's not okay for social media on the iphone screens i think that's the problem is i think people they think it has to be real because it's on the iPhone. Yes. And they like whatever people see online, it's like it's real. And I think that's where people love YouTube is like it feels like real people that they're watching like reality shows. That's why reality shows are so popular because you feel like, you know, they the think person. it's real too. But like with an actress or an actor, you know, they're acting. It's like they especially if they have like a bonnet or, you know, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. like some type like of outfit. Yeah. Something that like makes them look different. <laughs> Well, you, you put on a whole good act. You changed your whole body. I know. I don't know. Personally, I feel like people have a hard time finding the line between is this real and is it fake? And Especially when, like, from my, in my opinion, Nick intentionally blurred that line as much as as much as he could right and again that's fine like i think what he did i'm not I don't, i'm not saying like oh he shouldn't have done that and it's a big problem but like to sit here and be like i don't know it's so weird that people were surprised by this thing or that it's like come on dude you 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 were playing into that that was the whole point was to trick people that's a, the whole two steps ahead thing like that was the whole point was to get people to believe this ridiculous thing so yes of course a lot of people believed it clearly it wasn't true but and to act surprised, I don't know. It's just kind of funny to me. And well, good. It worked. But It worked. But, like, people also forget that this is entertainment. This is legit entertainment. It is. And, like, a lot of people, they'll see, like, five seconds of someone's day. Or, like, say, a 12-minute vlog even. And then they're like, I can't believe this is what you do all day. Like, if, if, I, if my husband had lavender for 10 minutes in the vlog. Yeah. Why are you never with your kid? <clears throat> there is yes. 24 hours in a day. Okay? Yes. And I'm holding a camera. Yes. Like, sorry. I don't understand. I feel like, but I, I think that's a good thing that people don't know the difference because I think that's what makes YouTube and social media so entertaining is that they feel like this, what they're seeing is real. Yeah. And so they get super hooked and they just. I think a lot of people could do, especially people that want to do that performative stuff. Yes. A lot of good people could do. I mean, what I did wasn't that special if you think about it. I mean, yeah. And the, for the zoomed in narrowed in oh yeah. youtube community like wow no one's really done this which i don't think anyone has no two years people have trolled. i think i think what nick did was actually pretty impressive i mean that's just how i feel i think like the literally dedicating his entire life for multiple years to this 
grand thing i think is is pretty impressive uh again you could argue whether or not how how much of it was planned out from what point it's hard to say but there was definitely a significant period of time that he dedicated his life to this whole thing i think that's impressive and i don't think a lot of people would want to actually do that in well, my but they haven't like to that extent became a whole character themselves and the weight gain too oh, oh yeah and like, lose you were the very weight. committed to the character <laughs> Yeah, I mean, a lot of people are still, like, hoping to lose. I mean, losing weight is hard. Oh, yeah. It's very, yeah, yeah, very yeah. hard. Yeah. So, um, but still, even if you don't do that part, I think what I did, if you take a zoom out of the mm-hmm. YouTube space, yeah. and it's just someone, you know, you meet at the coffee shop, be like, this guy got fat, he, like, pretended to be something he wasn't, did all these crazy acts, and he lost the weight and said, ha-ha, I was just acting. They'd be like, okay. You know, it's not yeah. that big of a deal. It's yeah. really not. But yeah. when you're zoomed in and you're, like, sucked into it, and yep. you've been watching all the videos yep. and all the people talk about me over the years. Oh, I didn't my even stretch gosh. me out. That was around the time I quit. I must have hit 400 or something. That's crazy. 402, I don't know. I don't even recognize you. It's weird. <sighs> I know I just posted something on my TikTok where I was upset because people were just like, oh, he's he's still fat or he looks worse and this and that. And that kind of got to me. Like, I was like, really? I did all this work a little bit. I'm very confident, as you know. Okay, because I'm, I'm like, that's just not true. It's just not true. The comments. Oh, I thought you were saying about like no. me being upset by it. Like no, no, that's no, no, no. not true. You no. love how you look. No, I mean like, come on, those those comments could have got, got to you. You know they're not true. Like, I, yes, it's I, like if someone calls me ugly, I'm like, I know I'm not ugly. I, I think what made me pause and yeah. kind of just think about it was the fact that um, just showing you that photo. Mm-hmm. That's what I still think I am. It's weird. Yeah, like isn't I, that like body dysmorphia? Like when you look, but I don't think, have body dysmorphia. I've never well, you, had body you dysmorphia. Could now, and I. I don't even know how I de- did I develop it from losing weight? Is that a thing? Well, because I think you can even have it in like stages because when I was pregnant, I was like, oh, I'm not even that big because you see yourself slowly get there. So it's like your brain doesn't see that you're all of a sudden so much bigger. Yeah. And- yeah. I think, I mean, I don't like to label everything as it's this, this is, this is the de- definition of what you're, you're dealing with. But there's certainly a lot of people that have those feelings. And I, I've talked to plenty of people and I think we've all had, well, maybe not all, but a lot of us have had that experience where you see a photo and you're like, Oh wow, I am a lot bigger than I had realized. Right. Because especially for me, I was very good at not looking in mirrors or if I did look in a mirror, it was only at my face. Or if I did take a photo, it wasn't in, no one took a photo of me. Right. I took the photo and I made sure I looked good in the photo. Right. And so when you see a photo that you're not aware is being taken and you see it and you, you're confronted with it. Right. I don't know if I'd say that's body dysmorphia. I don't, I don't know exactly what I would call it, but I, I do think that that's something that a lot of people deal with. And then especially when we talk about weight loss, a lot of people really struggle with the idea of like, I don't, I, I'm, I don't feel like I am what I look like. Right. And I think, I don't know. It's interesting because I guess I would say I still have that feeling like I'm, Whenever someone, I feel like I'm tooting my own horn. I'm not asking for compliments, but like when I see people that will be like, oh, you, you know, you, you know, dang, you're, you're buff and I'm out in public. I'll like tell my girlfriend cause like it doesn't happen often. And I'm like, yeah. And then she'll, she'll be like, well, I mean you are. So, and I'm like, well, I don't think so. And she's like, you are. And I, so, you know, I don't know if I would say it's the same exact thing, but it's definitely something that I deal with or it's something that happens and so i i can only imagine that's something that nick would be dealing with as well when you have this insane just up and down feeling uh, up and down of your weight of gaining all of this weight so rapidly losing it so rapidly and yeah i mean it's a pretty common common thing that a lot of people deal with i don't know if i would you know label it as body dysmorphia i'm sure that there are very specific things that constitute what body dysmorphia is so that's why i don't really like to label it but definitely a very you know a, a feeling a lot of people have that have lost a lot of weight or have gained a lot of weight and so like when i had when I, that happened to me and i was pregnant i was like oh i'm not even that big and then now that i'm looking back at when i was pregnant i'm like wait i was pretty huge yeah but because it's slowly happening and you're slowly losing weight i feel like it doesn't that's I, I can't no, that's a very it. that's a very good way of putting it. You don't even it. you almost you, don't notice it. You don't notice that you're getting big and then you're like, wow, I'm fat. And yep. then you don't notice yourself losing weight and you're like, yep. but I'm still fat. Yeah. Like you haven't caught up. Yeah. It's like your brain is still like a year behind. Yeah. Gosh. Yeah. I like look in the camera and I'm like, oh my God, I'm almost gone. Like it's almost like we're done losing weight. Yeah. And like that's exactly it's a good way to put it. Like your brain is a year behind. Uh because like for me, I definitely don't see myself as big anymore like 
maybe when I first lost weight, I, I struggled with that. But at this point now, a decade with the weight off, I definitely don't look in the mirror and see a big dude anymore. Like that's definitely not something that I see. And so it's, it, I, I think it's one of those things that it does definitely take time. The, the longer you're in a specific body, the easier it is to see yourself in that body, right? There's no more weight to lose, barely. Yeah. But um, in my head, I'm, I sometimes forget. It's just weird. And then, and then there'll be another day where I look at those photos. I'm like, that's not me. That's not me. Like, that's a different person. Yeah. See, I, I so there's something that. going on. Yeah. I haven't been to a movie theater in a minute. Well, part of the reason was my weight. And I also... Could you fit in the theater seats? You know, now that you say that, probably not. Because I couldn't fit in the, the airplane seats. <laughs> I mean, I think it depends on the theater, right? Because there's there's tons of different. There's some seats that, like, I think for for the most part, anyone can fit in them. Like the really nice theaters that have like the recliners and stuff that don't have like the, you know, some of them they they have this the arms that swivel up and down. So I think I think those are pretty like pretty much. I don't want to say anyone because obviously there's always outliers, but a lot of people can fit into those seats for sure. Airlines, that's a whole another can can of worms. <laughs> I was forced to fly first class. Not because I was like, oh, I'm you so much no better. Choice. No, even with a seatbelt extender, it had nothing to do with the seat, like the belly. It was like the width. My, I couldn't fit down in between the arms. Oh my and some arms, on pla- some arms don't go up on planes. Yeah, that's true. They just don't go up. Some are just Especially if, I think if you're stuck. at the end, or is there even an arm at the end? Yes. Like towards the window, I'm saying. I don't think they go up. Are they even arms? Yes. I, think. I, don't, I don't know. But no, they don't a lot of the times. That's crazy. And I remember one time I was only like... T- that is something that's annoying with airlines is that they're all different. Every plane is different. And it's definitely... I can understand being like a little nervous about flying for sure when you're bigger. 220, 230, which is not that big. No, it's not. Six a lot of people are actually like that weight normally. Yes. that's yeah. a, Isn't he? <laughs> uh, he lost 30 pounds. I know. He looks very different, actually. He looks so good. But most guys who have muscle, I mean, the average man is over 200 pounds. Yes, yeah. And that's not fat man. That's just yeah. like healthy yes, muscle. Yes, Five yeah, eleven. So I, feel like- I weigh 210, 5'8". Like that's foot. not that big. So yeah, I was like... And you're very tall, so... Yeah, so I was like probably 230, 240. I remember I was flying to Thailand. That was right when I was having a... Bre- well, one of my first breakdowns that I did as an Ikakado. Yeah. And um, I remember flying on Emirates and I thought maybe those seats were just extra small because those are like for Europeans and they're all like starving. <laughs> I like <laughs> yeah. literally thought I was rational. I'm like, how is this so tiny? I'm not, I'm not that You're fat. in denial. I was in denial. I yeah. mean, I knew it was gaining weight, but I, again, wasn't that big. Yeah. I'm like, oh, this is European plane. The peasants are starving you know how I, over um, there. I can't really speak on that because I don't know. I, I will say, I mean, the, I, I usually fly JetBlue whenever I, I go from coast to coast and I've never really had an issue. I feel like their, their seats are pretty big. Yeah. Dr. Now's office, all of their chairs are super wide. <laughs> yes. They need like American planes to have like the really- Costco airline. <laughs> Kirkland Kirkland Air. Call? Kirkland Air. <laughs> I mean, that'd be pretty good. And they serve Literally. all their food through the aisle. Oh my God. You'd never want to get off the plane. You're no. like, drive, fly me around the world twice. For people watching, my name's Nicholas. Mm-hmm. Uh, mo- so this was at the like beginning of the podcast and he's kind of talking about his name which i thought that this this part was was pretty interesting not that surprising to me but definitely interesting people call me nick and then nick avocado avocado came from when i was a fruitarian back in the day i was only eating fruit and i was eating a lot of avocados and avocados are probably avocado is my favorite fruit and i was eating so many like literally 15 to 20 a day i mean avocados are pretty good man i can't lie I mean, I'm from Southern California, so they're pretty ubiquitous here. You you get there year round for the most part, which is like, yeah, that's a problem. I mean, it wasn't a problem. I was enjoying myself, and um, <clears throat> actually, Orlin gave me the name. Really? He was sitting next to me, watching me eat all these avocados. He's like, "You're like the Nick Avocado, avocado, like Nick oh, Avocado." Yeah. And actually, we thought we debated for a while if it should be Nicado or Nick Avocado. Nick Avocado sounds. And I literally just I'm kind of visual, and so yeah. I wrote it out, and I liked seeing the K stand up. <laughs> I don't know. It, like it looked, it looked good. Yes. So yes. that's, and I just like the same syllables, Nikocado avocado. Oh no, it's a great name. Clearly, I, I think that it makes sense. I, I, when people like struggle to say it, they're like Nikocado avocado. I'm like, dude, it's, it's literally Nikocado avocado. I feel like it makes sense in my, in my brain. The syllables match up. I don't know. There's, it's a brand. There's people who are like that name's hor especially when I was first starting YouTube mm-hmm. as like a vegan vlogger. Like I had other vegans say, You need to consider changing that name. People are not gonna remember really? Well, now. Really? Now where are they? <clears throat> Nowhere. 
We don't know their names. We know Nikocado. I want to say one person who told it to my face, but I also don't want to. Do so he's talking about Freely the Banana Girl here. Do it. Say it. I don't want to send people to her. Oh. Because she's she's suffering as a channel right now. I mean, that's fair. A hundred percent, that's fair. <laughs> oh, is it who I think it is? No, I don't. Probably. Know her. Is it like the most popular? <laughs> <laughs> she was for a time. For like, and now she's just like gone. She's like got lost in the forest. It's crazy because I remember when Nick started gaining traction. I like heard about him very early because I have a few friends that are still in the vegan space and they were relatively new to that space. And I remember they showed me one of his early videos before he started the Nick Akato thing. And then this was like very early. He had only gained not much weight at all. And they're like, he's doing this. It's crazy. And like their whole thing was like, he's not vegan anymore. Right. Like that was the big, like, I can't, you know, it's crazy around this time on YouTube, actually. It almost feels like he started that trend where there was always people coming out. I was like, I'm not vegan anymore. There was like people that would go from vegan to being carnivore and like in the vegan space, you know, shout out to my vegans, no hate or anything, but it's a big deal when people do that. Like that, it becomes a whole thing. People will talk about it for, you know, a, quite a long time. It's a whole thing. And so I remember I heard about Nick super early into him doing all of this it was years and years and years ago and so it's just it's so funny hearing this story now having that context from back in the day so interesting to me oh i know exactly who yeah he said forest in Got forest it. yeah armpit hair she literally told me she's like yeah that name is she was like that's it's hard to say hard her to pronounce name isn't very well there you go that's that's typical of her Hers also has a fruit Hypocrite. in it, right? Yes. Okay, now everyone effing knows who we're talking about. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> She's going to make a video. <laughs> well, <clears throat> I'm sure she she probably already has. <laughs> <clears throat> yes, really the banana girl. She said that to me. It was, we weren't like well, no, close. Well, she's giving you advice. It's not. <clears throat> I guess. Yeah, she's yeah. giving you advice. <laughs> now she's. I can't talk about dead channels because look at me. So. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> who am I to talk about? <laughs> You're not dead. You still get more than her, I think. That's bad. <laughs> that's bad. If I get more views than her, that's bad. But she's living her life. She's happy. She's oh free. Oh my gosh. Well, she, who knows if people are ever happy? Yeah. People thought I was fat and miserable. I mean, I was miserable. Yeah, yeah, yeah. During, I mean, definitely. There were times I was, everything was extra hard. Right. <clears throat> but I was, I was like. See, like, that's the stuff that would be so much more interesting to talk about, man. That I would love to hear, you know, like that stuff. And it, I don't. It just feels like it gets it gets glossed over and I, I can't help but feel like it's intentional because like this is the stuff that people are really interested in and it just gets like skipped over. I don't know if, if Nick, I doubt he watches this, but like if you watch this, man, talk about that stuff, man. Talk about how you lost the weight. Talk about all that. That's what people want to know. Not, I mean, I'm sure some people want to know about this stuff, but I mean, this this is interesting, the whole, the whole Freely stuff, but man. My bank account's good. My marriage is pretty good. And you were two, two steps ahead, so you knew. Things were good. Yeah. You know. Yeah. <laughs> Your channel's not dead. <laughs> but yeah, so that's basically everything that was of interest in the, the, the hour-long video. Uh, but I just wanted to share that. I'm curious what other people think. I know Nick is definitely very divisive. Some people, you know, f are like all in and they think what he did was awesome and they're all for him some people still still remember a lot of the stuff that they feel has been glossed over and just kind of forgotten because he lost the weight and now he's a different person um so i'm curious what people think down in the comment section down below thank you guys so much for watching if you made it to the end of the video dropping a like would be super helpful thank you so much and i'll see you next time peace